Thank you. So what happened? Uh, we, we woke up. Our door was open. Uh -huh. And our four-year-old baby, our baby girl, I don't know if she, you know, which direction she went in. I was trying to see if your camera, you know, kept in the footage of her going to, the, you know, to the backyard. A few moments later. Police say Sequoia died weeks ago and was found in a garbage can outside the home. According to court records, Jackson told police that her daughter was beaten to death by her boyfriend, Jalen Hobson. This morning, an attorney asked the judge to revoke his bond ahead of what could be additional charges. For now, Hobson is only charged with filing a false report. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, thank y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely awesome. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Memphis by way of Tennessee. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Tennessee. Everybody in the great city of Memphis. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank y'all to my channel members. And also to my subscribers for sending me the story. And also... Keep these stories coming. Now, also before I start this story, I want to send a special condolence out to the child. Yes, Miss Sequoia Samuels. Very sad what happened to this little girl. But this video shows you why I say the things I say in my videos. And let me tell you all this before I start this video. You know, if you're thinking about hurting your child, please contact somebody in your family or social workers or counselors in your cities. Or if you can't get in touch with them, you can contact me. And guess what? We'll make a way and I won't put you on blast. I won't say nothing about it. I am trying to be for real because I am so tired of people hurting these children. Just like in the case of this story right here, where we have an innocent, yes, a little angel, a four-year-old girl who was viciously killed by her mom boyfriend. And on top of that, the mom had nerve to want to try to cover up the damn mess with her boyfriend done. Now, it's the way that the mama did this. And she really shouldn't be called a mama. She really should be called a mammy. And this is what you call a mammy. Now, the mammy goes by the name of Brittany Jackson. And also, let me say this to the family members of the people I be doing these stories about. Look, if you happen to wake up one day and you see your uh, loved one, your son, your daughter, your mom, or your dad on a Trey King show, and they done killed somebody or done did something very bad to somebody, and you see them, don't hit me up trying to get mad at me. No, what you should do is get mad, number one, at your damn self, and also get mad at them for hurting somebody, because I'm just reporting, just like the news report. Now, this woman, Brittany Jackson, yes, child was missing for several weeks, and a few people said for a few months. Now, what make it even more colder than that, that the fact the child was missed for several weeks, last Thursday, yes, Brittany Jackson had the nerve to tell the police that her child was missing, and that basically somebody abducted her child. She told the police first, that she woke up and she had to uh, charge her dead phone up. So I guess after her dead phone was charged up, that's when she received a text message from her auntie saying that her front door was left open. You get how this going now? So upon Brittany Jackson noticing that the front door was open, Sequoia Samuel, her daughter, happened to wind up missing and had people all over Memphis looking for this child, yes. And also, her boyfriend, as you all can tell, was going to the neighbor's house, going door to door, Asking people if they seen this child, just like you all see in this video right here. And the nerve of this bastard, number one, he was the one that killed the child, you know. But this should show you the nature of some people. It's like somebody that steal from you and then try to help you look for the money that they stole. Now, imagine this. Imagine a person knocking on your door, looking for a child, well, allegedly looking for a child. And the whole time, this is the person that killed the child. And the child was in, yes, garbage bags, also in a trash can. And these people was about to throw this child away until the police came. The child was in a trash can with trash bags wrapped around it. A sad situation. This child deserved way more better than that. And also, from what I heard, this child had some kind of special need the child was on a feeding tube. And you would think that when a child is coming to this world like that, you know, you should love all children. But if you have a child with special needs, number one, don't ever be ashamed of your child. Number one, it comes from you. The child comes from you. You know what I'm saying? So, if you have a child who has special needs... That child deserved what? More attention, more love. You get what I'm saying? But yet, still, Sequoia only got hate and got murdered. Very sad situation. And then Brittany Jackson was in court just a couple of days ago, Tuesday to be exact, when a judge sent her bond at $500,000. And then the judge asked her, as you all can see right here, asked her, do you have any family, you know, who's going to help you take care of this $500,000 bond? She turned around, looked to the back. And guess what? She looked at her dad. Her dad turned around and looked at the back, too. I don't blame him. I wouldn't help a guy out of jail, dad. Leave her ass right in jail. Anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. 
surely as we go. Memphis mom says missing girl was dead for weeks. Body was stored in bags, says the police, not the Trey King show. Because I am so tired of people sitting up here saying that you bloggers be lying. No, I don't lie on nobody. I don't speculate. I speak number what? Yes, fat, fat facts all day, every day, like my people in St. Louis say. Anyway, let the show begin. Now, the mother of a four-year-old initially reported missing on Thursday, allegedly confessed to Memphis police that the girl has actually been dead for weeks, claiming the boyfriend attacked her and that she and her boyfriend stored the child's body in garbage bags in their house. Now, you know, I... You, you shouldn't kill nobody, but how you kill somebody, your own child, and then you turn around and store the body in bags inside your own damn home for several, several weeks. And like I said, a few people said for a few months. So you already know the decomposition and all this going on, you know, as far as the, the smell of the body. But at the same time, you know, how could you live with yourself, you know, going to and fro, knowing damn well that your child is over there in a trash bag? And I have to make it sound just like that. Just let it hit right there in your gut. You get what I'm saying? Some people grab their chest right there like, what? In a trash bag? Yes. Yes. I'm about to throw the child away. Anyway, now this is according to a police statement dated 8.14 a.m. Friday when they came back and arrested Brittany Jackson. But yes, a day after. Now, this is a day after police called a North Memphis neighborhood looking for Sequoia Samuels and had all the people in North Memphis shook, had all the dope boys shook, had all the damn robbers shook, had all the damn prostitutes shook. Could nobody shake a leg last Thursday and early Friday because them police was looking for Sequoia. Come to find out, like I told y'all, the child was dead. And the nerve of these damn people, you know what I'm saying? And also from what I heard from people that had told me is that Brittany Jackson, yes, <laughs> It's pregnant again. That's what they say. Now, the people who know her and kin to her, you know if this is true or false. But at the same time, number one, just think about this. If it is true and the girl is pregnant, well, a woman, she's a woman. But anyway, if she is pregnant, why would you need another child? We can already tell what you did with the first child. Anyway, let's continue. Now, Brittany Jackson, the child's mother, told police Thursday that she was at home at 247 Caldwell with Hudson, her live-in boyfriend. Y'all need to stop these damn live-in boyfriends. At the same time, let's back up on Hudson, ugly face self. You know, uh, they say he has a five-year-old son. But notice this. You don't hear no reports of him beating his own child. But yet still, he beat your child, killed your child. And also, women, if you're with a man and he's beating your child, I mean, damn, how bad do you really want a damn man? Your job, number one, is to take care of that child. That's your main priority is that child, not that man. But you know what, though? A lot of you all go overboard for a man just to say that you have some damn body. And then come to find out when you look a little bit closer, that man ain't worth a hill of beans. Anyway, let's continue. Now, Brittany Jackson told the police that she was at home with her live-in boyfriend and that Jackson's five-year-old son and two of Hudson's juvenile relatives ages six and four were also in the house. Now, she also said she last saw Sequoia around 11.45 p.m. when she gave her a drink of water and put her to bed. Sound nice, though, but it's about to get worse. Now, Brittany Jackson said she fell asleep on the couch, and Hobson later fell asleep with her. Yeah, because it sounded like y'all were doing a whole lot of laying up. That's what it looked like to me. Anyway, she said when she woke up and recharged her dead phone, she said she found text messages from her auntie saying that the front door is open. Now, let's... Pause and think about it for a minute. If you got a text message from your auntie stating that the front door is open, how did your auntie know? And also, why didn't somebody come over there and make sure that that door was closed? Are you going to make sure that the damn door is closed after you text message them? And who in the hell text message somebody early in the damn morning, late at night, to much your front door is open? And also, if you sleep on the couch, you don't know your door is open or closed? Come on now. Let's be for real. In Memphis, that's something to think about. Come on now, let's finish up. Now, Brittany said when she woke up, she received a text message from her auntie saying that the front door is open. That's when she realized the quarrel was missing and called the Memphis Police Department. And this was Thursday, but guess what? The child had already been dead for several weeks. Some people say several months. And the child was already in the home in trash bags. You know, a sad situation. The nerve of some damn people. Let's finish up. Now, this is where all the truth come out at, because the truth has to be told. And they say when you tell one lie, guess what? You got to tell another lie to cover that what? That first lie you already told. Now, according to the mother's statement to police, Hobson had physically attacked the quarrel multiple times. And the first time should have been the last damn time. You get what I'm saying? How are you going to sit up here and let a man, a tough-faced man at that, attack your child, kill your child, and then you're going to cover up for him and get yourself caught up in this mess? <laughs> a sad situation. Anyway, she told the police that Sequoia was attacked multiple times in the previous weeks. After the last attack, the child was left unconscious. 
Hobson was unable to revive her, and Brittany Jackson allegedly admitted she did not render aid according to the document. So you tell the police out your own mouth that you witnessed your child being attacked multiple times, and the last time your child was attacked, the child was left unconscious, and you did not even call 911. You did not even call no damn body. I mean, you could have called mama, daddy, auntie, or some damn body. I mean, come on now. That don't even sound right. Anyway, now Hobson then allegedly put the child's body into several garbage bags, which they store in the house until Thursday when they made this down police report. And they got the child out and put the child in a trash can. And that's where the police found the child at. So you ain't got to take my word. <laughs> Just listen to the news. Anyway, now Jackson maintained the corpse for several weeks, as you all can see at the bottom, until the bags were dumped in a garbage container with other garbage cans outside the apartment. The statement read, just like you all see this apartment right here. So it's a good thing that they did not store this child body in somebody else's trash can because then you would have had your neighbors and them caught up. And that's a warning to anybody who stayed in apartments. You know, somebody can set you up big time, especially, you know, dealing with a dead body. So imagine if the police would have found the body inside one of the neighbor's trash cans. They would try to pin this on the damn neighbors. But guess what? Uh -uh. The body was found inside of their trash can. But, you know, this is just a nerve of some damn people. And it's so sad that these children are born to these damn demons or whatnot. And then you have people out here in the world who really want children and can't have children. But I'm going to leave you all with this. Sequoia deserved a lot better than this. The child was on a feeding tube. They say the child had special needs or whatnot. I'm not sure about the special needs part, but just the fact that you would do a little angel like this. This beautiful child is a sad situation. And then got nerve, want people to help you now in court. When the judge asks who's going to help you pay for this bun, you're going to turn around and look at your family. And your dad turned around and looked at the bag too, like, who the hell is she looking at? Anyway, dad, if I was you, I would leave her ass in jail. And I'm sorry that it had to come out like that. But your daughter and her boyfriend was dead wrong, and they have to pay the price. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed or my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. The next time, you all stay blessed and love those children. If you can't love those children, give those children to somebody else who will. And I guarantee you that somebody else will. Anyway, I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And thank you all for tuning in. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And guess what? I'm out.